Everyone could use a sprig of mistletoe hanging in their house somewhere, don't you think? I'm Jan Hal, and I have the cutest, simple Christmas craft for you today. I'm going to show you how to make these DIY mistletoe sprigs. This can be made with regular felt scraps, different shades, or of course, some upcycled sweaters. Those of you who follow me know that I love to use upcycled materials and the shades of green of felted wool sweaters make the cutest mistletoe. It's a holiday decoration that you can save and get out every year. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you some fun ways to display them, to use them for holiday gifts. Let's go over the items and things that you'll need for this project. You can download the free printable that has the pattern of the leaves, but it's a pretty no brainer shape, but you can download that for free. I'll put the link in the description. You'll need a pair of scissors, some fake floral white berries, floral wire. This is a 20 gauge. You can use 18 to 20 gauge and it really doesn't need to be. This is a 16 inch. You can use a 12 inch length if you wanted to and some green floral tape. And you'll also need a pair of wire cutters and a red ribbon of your choice to embellish it when you're finished. You'll need your sewing machine threaded with green thread, a simple basic zigzag stitch, and that's it. Let's get started. There are two different sizes of leaves, and you'll want to cut a variety of the different sizes and different variety of colors. So I'll cut out a, a few at a time. So I've cut out some small and some large leaves and different shades of green. You'll want at least seven to eight leaves. Now we'll apply the floral wire to the leaf. I have set my machine to a, just a normal zigzag stitch, the width at five and the length at one. Bring your wire almost to the end of the leaf top and center it and then we'll start stitching. Bring your presser foot down so the center of the presser foot is where the wire is. I like to use my hand wheel, turn it towards you, just moving the needle up and down to make sure I'm not going to hit that wire. And then I'll back stitch and just adjust and adjust the wire as you sew over the wire. And you may need to coax it a little bit by just pushing the wire. So I am gently pushing the wire forward to help move it through those feed dogs. And then I'll backstitch and I get close to the edge. So that's what it'll look like on the underside. And just do the same thing for all your leaves. So I've sewn up seven leaves. I have clipped all the threads and now we'll start wrapping the berries and the leaves. Grab some berries and have them ready. I'm going to separate one or two of those out so that we can add them individually. You don't want to go too crazy with the berries. All you need is a few. So I'll have those set aside. Grab a leaf and some floral tape and we'll start wrapping around the wire, but we're going to include just a little bit of the felt in the leaf. So an easy way to do that is to pull it as you wrap. So it adheres really tight. I'm gonna go up just about a half an inch and I'm going to add another leaf and wrap it around both of the stems and the end of that new leaf. Then let's add a berry and another leaf. Let's add a couple more berries. So there's really no wrong or right way to do this. Just do it to your liking and you can arrange it as you go. So if that breaks off, no worries. You can just stick it back on there and start wrapping again. And you can make these as simple as probably three leaves if you really want it to. So I'm wrapping all of those stems. I'm going to go down about maybe three inches 
and cut half of those wires off to reduce some of the bulk. And I'm going to continue down another two inches, cut all but one off. When I get down to that end, I'll start going back down the stem. Bend your stem down to make a little loop. Bring the, that left over, make a little loop. We're making a little loop with that leftover wire so that you can hang it. I'm gonna cut that off. And like I say, you can make this as short or as long as you want. Wrap it down and then pull it off. And what's kind of fun is you can take the wire and bend the leaf a little bit, give it a little more character so it's not just straight. So you get the idea. Then you can grab your ribbon. I like to put it at the base. Tie a bow. There you have it, a felt mistletoe sprig. One made with felt, one made with a green upcycled sweater. So cute, ready to hang on your wall, your ceiling for some holiday lovin'. If you're interested in learning how to make some other felt leaves, different types, I have a tutorial showing you how to do that. I have a fun holiday pumpkin tutorial made from upcycled sweaters. On my website, you can find all these instructions. You can find the download for the pattern. And I have a PDF download if you want to print out these, make little cards or tags, if you want to attach these to a fun holiday gift. One year I attached these tags to a jar of pine smelling dish soap from Mrs. Myers, added one of these tags, a little sprig of mistletoe, such a cute gift. You can find that download on my website. If you enjoyed that tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell in the notifications so you can be notified when I put new DIY crafting, sewing, and home improvement DIY tutorials up. You'll be notified. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun making mistletoe and we'll see you next time.